ashadu anna la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna muhammadan rasulullah I bear witness that there is none worthy of worship except God and I bear witness that Muhammad is his messenger Today is going to be a beautiful day. Hey everyone, good afternoon. Um, I want to share a few verses about Jesus Christ that do not come from the Bible, but from the Quran, so from Islam. Okay, listen to me. Chapter 5, verse 110. When God will say, O Jesus, son of Mary, recall my favor upon you and upon your mother, how I supported you with the Holy Spirit. You spoke to the people from the crib and in maturity, how I taught you the scripture and wisdom and the Torah and gospel, and recall that you molded from clay the shape of a bird by my leave, and then you breathed into it and it became a bird by my leave, and you healed the blind and the leprous by my leave, and you revived the dead by my leave, and recall that I restrained the children of Israel from you when you brought them the clear miracles. But those who disbelieved among them said, this is nothing but obvious sorcery. And when I inspired the disciples, believe in me and in my messenger, they said, we have believed, so bear witness that we have submitted. And when the disciples said, O Jesus, son of Mary, is your Lord able to bring down for us a feast from heaven? He said, fear God if you are believers. They said, we wish to eat from it so that our hearts may be reassured and know that you have told us the truth and be amongst those who believe it, who witness it. Jesus, son of Mary, said, O oh God, our Lord, send down from us a table from heaven to be a festival for us, for the first of us and the last of us, and the sign from you, and provide for us, you are the best of providers. God said, I will send it down to you, but whoever amongst you disbelieves thereafter, I will punish him with a punishment the like of which I never punish any other being. And God will say, O oh Jesus, son of Mary, did you say to the people, Take me and my mother as gods rather than God. He will say, Glory be to you. It is not for me to say what I have no right of. Had I said it, you would have known it. You know what is in my soul and I do not know what is in your soul. You are the knower of the hidden. I only told them what you commanded me, that you shall worship God, my Lord and your Lord. And I was a witness over them while I was among them. But when you took me to yourself, you became the watcher over them. You are witness over everything. And then in the next, next chapter, chapter 6, verse 20. Those to whom we have given the book recognize it as they recognize their own children. But those who have lost their souls do not believe. So again, these verses do not come from the Bible, but from the Quran. And I really advise you to read the Quran. Forget for a moment everything that you think you know, you know. Why, what is different in the Quran than the other books? Well, not much actually. It's the same line of prophets, Abraham, Moses, Noah, it's all of them, Jesus. But with the Quran as a, the prophecy that came through the prophet Muhammad, okay? And why did the Prophet Muhammad have to come if the, the essence of the rest is the same? Well, I think the main reason is because Christians see the belief in Jesus Christ as the way to free them from sins. But it actually, if you think about it, doesn't really make any sense, okay? Forget about Islam for a moment. Think about the Bible, the Torah, all the, the Old and New Testament. Um, how do you call it? Testament? What are the Ten commandment, Commandments that were sent down to Moses? All the things, the way that we should behave as good people, really. That's the essence, to be good people. To surrender to God and to be good people. Then how can a belief in Jesus Christ 
free us from our sins. It's as if you can you can do anything that you want, but as long as you believe in Jesus Christ, you are freed of sins. So what the Quran says is there is none except God. There's only one God. And there is no escape like believing in this or that. No. You have to actually be a good person. And the only way to be freed of sins is to not not that you don't have to commit any sin, but like if you do something wrong, learn the lesson from it, repent from it, ask forgiveness to God and not repeat the same sin. Like learn the lesson and choose good. Always choose the path of light. And then let God, only God, be the judge of the essence of your soul. Which makes a lot more sense if you think about it. So forget for a moment everything that you think that you know about Islam. Because I am a Muslim. I know that I don't look like a Muslim, but I am a Muslim. And a lot like what we think that we know about Islam is actually a big part of it is the culture of countries in the Middle East. And I'm not going into detail about what or when or how. The only thing that I want to say is that the message from God that was delivered through the Prophet Muhammad is the Quran. So just read it and see how you feel about it, you know. Listen to your heart. Don't listen to anyone else. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to Muslims. Don't listen to anyone. Listen to your own heart. Because I'm going to be honest, what, what is said in this verse, those to whom we have given the book, recognize it as they recognize their own children. I feel it like this. I am reading the Quran and everything makes sense. All my questions are gone. All the questions that I had about God, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, all of that, you know. So what do you have to lose? Read the Bible, read the Quran, read uh, whatever the Hindus believe in. I don't know, just read it and listen to your own heart. What feels like the truth. Okay? Have a nice day. Bye. To all the Christians and the Jews that understand that there is one God and God created Jesus Christ to speak to humanity and understand that Jesus prayed to the Father, God, and you pray to God and you apply in your daily life the teachings of all the books from Genesis to the New Testament, you are a Muslim. And congratulations because you understood the assignment without the need of the Quran. But the Quran had to come because people started worshiping Jesus instead of the entity behind him, God. And this is against the Ten Commandments. First rule, do not put anyone before God. Second rule, do not make idols. So you are a Muslim. And now we have to apply in our daily life the teachings of all the prophets, including the last one, Muhammad. He repeated the same message, the same as from the start, but gave a few teachings in specific. Just like Jesus said about fasting, Muhammad said, we are going to fast one month every year. And we're going to pray every day. So apply this in your daily life, okay? Bye. Hey everyone. Today is a very special day. The last Friday of Ramadan. And there is something important that I have to do. It took me a few days to practice this in Arabic. But God knows that I'm stubborn. <laughs> And that I only listen to God and to my mother, who are both in heaven. So I, I am unable to speak these words after someone else. I had to learn this by myself. So please accept my testimony. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Wa ashadu anna muhammadan rasulullah. 
I bear witness that there is none worthy of worship except God, and I bear witness that Muhammad is his messenger.